Alright guys, how's it going? It's a late Friday night and I'm having a little browse of the Blender plugins and I stumble across Bygen. Now how this got by me in the radar, I have no idea because it's an absolute phenomenal plugin and I'm actually gobsmacked that the plugin is free. But in retrospect, this kind of reflects on the artist and the developer. Highly recommend you check out the developer's videos. They're so informative and they're so professionally done. And to be fair, I can never do this plugin justice, not like the developer anyway. But we'll still take a look at Bygen. So let's take a look in Blender. So first of all, I'm going to delete the cube. Sacrilege, I know. And we'll add in a UV sphere. Now let me introduce you to the plugin. If you bring up the properties tab, you can see it here, BY Tools. Let me just drag this along so you can get a better view. Now if you press SHIFT and A, it actually brings up a menu here. BY, and we have a few templates, and we have generators. But at the moment, we're interested in the main plugin. Now you have a few options here. You have the Modify mode, which is pretty much the bulk of the work. And you have something like Hard Surface Faceting, Hard Skin, Metal Shell, Organic Cell, and FX Point Cloud. Now FX Point Cloud is the one I'm interested in, but we'll take a look in a minute. Let's just try Organic Shell. Now we have a few different displacement types here. Clouds, distorted noise, etc. So we'll just leave everything on default and we'll hit Apply Style and we'll see what we get. Nice. So you can see that we've automatically generated something. Now if you change the displacement type or the modify mode, you will end up with something completely different. So if we take a look at the modifier tab, we can actually see how the modifiers are stacked. So first of all you have a displacement texture. You then have a decimate modifier, so that will reduce the polygon count. You have a smooth operator. Now that song is so stuck in my head. And you have a wireframe and you have a subdivision. So what can we change here? We can reduce the repeat factor down and that may make it a little bit more jagged perhaps. Yep, something like that. We'll leave the decimate the same and we could probably mess around with the texture displacement. So what if we just change the map for some reason? Just to something else. Nice, we get a different effect. Now this is pretty good in its own right. So I'm hoping you're starting to see the potential in this plugin already. So let me select the object and let me hit apply modifiers. And now we have this organic model, which is pretty damn good. <laughs> so will we try and break the plugin? <laughs> Why not? It's just now Saturday morning. So we'll come back up to the modify mode and this time I'm going to use, what will we use? Hard padding. And I'll just hit apply and let's see what we get doing this. So keep in mind we've already ran a bunch of modifiers, we've got a pretty dense mesh. We're now running Bygen over the top of it. Could we crash Blender? Let's find out. So that took about 20 seconds maybe. But I got this amazing shape that is so funky. <laughs> but it's not what I want, so check this out, Control Z. Back to the original, how cool is that? So play around with some of the settings, but the one I'm mainly interested in is FX Point Cloud. So you can see here, create emissive material. We'll take that just for the fun of it. And then we'll apply style and see what it does. So it's essentially generated a point cloud using the topology. So let me just hide the properties. And we'll jump into the render view and see what it looks like. Nice. That's some funky stuff going on. So we have this point cloud data. What can we actually do with it? Well, let's jump into particles. Let's add a particle system to it. Uh, let's go to the source and we'll change that to probably verts. Make the first frame and start frame one. We get something like this. So you can see the potential in this plugin. Not only does it generate a mesh organically slash procedurally, you actually have a point cloud data that you can play around with. Now I can't recommend enough, please go and support the developer of Bygen. And like I says, I cannot do this plugin any justice. Now check out the videos, they're pretty in depth and they're pretty damn professional. All links in the description below. It's that time again, do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, you know what to do. Peace.